I'm Lucy and this is my mum Julie. Hello, I'm Lucy's mum and this is Awkward British Problems. Episode one. Mm, there are so many of them. And this is based on the British television program Very British Problems and the Twitter account and this is one of the books by Rob Temple and it's hilarious. We are basing our little scenarios on that. <laughs> the dog just nearly fell into the, the dog was checking out the, the checking out the book. Okay, shall I say that again? I would. This scenario is based on having guests around to your home or going to visit guests in their home. So the first one is I thought I'd like you to speak. Oh, I was going to say, I'm chilling during this I video. I know, I know. Oh, what is the first one then? Oh, hang on. <laughs> okay, so the first one is, whoops. Oh, I thought I was doing the first one. Oh, right, one. okay. The first one is saying, you'll have to excuse the mess, knowing very well that you've spent the last seven hours tidying up. Who does this remind us of? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is me, because I'd be paranoid that somebody would come into my home and see a speck of dust or, um, you know, things dishevelled, you know. I wouldn't like them to think that I was slovenly. Slovenly? Yeah. Good word. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I have this problem though. You do not have it at all. If they don't like it, they're very welcome to leave. Mm. You have never had that tidy bug. No, I think I rebelled against it. Yeah, from a very early age. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I'm not like a complete... What's the word? Slovenly person. <laughs> <laughs> no one ever won an Oscar for having a tidy house. No, but I think you feel you're judged if you if you haven't. Yeah, bring it on. Mm. <laughs> okay, so you're around somebody's house and they offer you a biscuit and you go, no, I mustn't. Oh, go on then. Go on, go on then. You have to refuse at least once. Yes. Yeah, oh, no, that's okay, I mustn't. Then you hope that they don't quickly pull the, the plate of biscuits away. Yeah, you have to be very quick with your turnaround. Yeah. Then it's embarrassing because they then put the cookies or biscuits down. They come to take one themselves and there's a few crumbs left. <laughs> <laughs> but once you start, you can't stop. No, I know, I know. Especially mm. if you've got a cup of tea there and you're sort of, yes. you know, do a bit of dunking and stuff. Yeah, mm. speaking of which, I'm just going to have a sip myself. Oh, yeah. I have to sip out of this side because the dog just took some. <laughs> Okay, now that that's done, what's number three? The third one is at a dinner party, indicating that you want the last potato by trying to force everyone else to have it. Yes, yes. Your mouth is watering at that extra roast mm. potato, but you don't want to appear greedy. No, that's right. So you virtually force it down somebody's throat. And then the utter horror when somebody says, oh, okay, then I can manage just one more. Oh, yeah, you know you've messed up there. Oh, big time, yeah. Yeah, but I... usually it doesn't happen because everyone's refusing the potato even if they want it. Yeah, well, hopefully, yes. The other thing is if somebody offers you a cup of tea and for some unknown reason you say, no, that's okay, thank you. And you think, why did I say that? Yeah, you know immediately you've made a terrible mistake. Oh, my God, yeah. Yeah. I know. And then you worry about it for the rest of the visit. It's true. Yeah. yeah. I'm hoping they're going to ask you again, but they don't. Oh no, they don't. Yeah. I like this one because it's so true. Being unable to stand and leave without first saying right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 That and indicates that it's time to go, doesn't it? And the thing I remember, you know, when we had family round, Granddad Baz. We'd always know when he was getting a little bit antsy because he'd start jiggling his keys. <laughs> yeah, the pasture is imminent. He's had enough and he needs to go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you have to signify these things, don't you? Oh, absolutely. Everyone needs to be prepared for your... Um, for your exit. Yes, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't know why. Is it manners or is it just etiquette or is it like... Well, you can't just go and you have well, to... Well, no, you would say goodbye. Yeah. But... Oops. <laughs> if you're in a group and, you know, everyone's kind of... Jigging keys and looking at their watch, and you go right. The 
audible sigh from everybody yeah. else because you think everyone suddenly gets up, you know, before you you sort of go right and then sit down again. Yeah, yeah, yeah you have to be quick um, because they're all itching to leave too, but they didn't want to be the first ones. No, it's very awkward, isn't it? It is awkward. Yeah, That's and right. we we Brits worry about things like that, which I know you Americans don't really, do you? No, if you want to go, you'd probably just leave. Yeah, wouldn't you? yeah, Is that fair? I think so. Yeah, I've never known any of this dilemma going on. <laughs> this internal struggle. Yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, and what about if somebody? Oh, before you've left, if somebody offers you something to eat and um, they're going on and on about it, and you think, oh, I don't like that. What do you say? Oh yeah, I've eaten many an awful meal. Yeah. Well, maybe not awful, but just not to my taste. I know. Like, I forgot to mention to people that I don't eat red meat. Yeah. And this is huge steak appears on a plate. Yeah, but you wouldn't eat steak, would you? No, I wouldn't. I no. would have to politely refuse or try and sidle it onto um, somebody else's plate. Hopefully they have noticing. a dog. Yes, yes. Take it off and feed the dog surreptitiously yeah. under the table. Yes. I have done that. <laughs> I have done that with the sausage before. <laughs> See what we That's mean? A, I know, I know. Life's so stressful yeah, when you're British. It, it is, it is indeed. You could always just say, oh, I don't eat that. But I, I know. You don't? No, you don't want to appear impolite. Because they might think that you're just saying that because you don't fancy mm. the look of their cooking. I know when I cook for somebody, I, the first thing I say is, oh, sorry, sorry. Um, you know, it's a little bit burnt around the edge. Or, oh sorry if you don't like it please do not feel obliged yeah. to me to finish it just leave it I can't just present it to them and bask well you have to say everything that's wrong with it before they think it and yeah, then it's do. like not so bad then yeah, sorry the gravy's a bit lumpy yeah and it's perfect you know but you have to say that you know just in case that's right but then it also gives them an in to go oh no it's perfect yeah yeah which you hope you're gonna hear back yeah and you probably would if they were British oh yes indeed yes even yes. if they didn't like it yeah this is why we don't cook for people very often I know I find cooking for people the most stressful thing in the world a few years back I actually cooked the Christmas dinner and I was having nightmares about it for weeks before yeah. and then in my nightmares it was always that I bought the wrong onions <laughs> <laughs> that was my big fear How obviously in my subconscious I don't know because the grandparents were coming you know yeah. they, they, there's a way of doing things you know and I'd mm. got the wrong onions and didn't you everyone and, just left yeah, didn't you and your dad and your dad's sort of virtually vegetarian buy this huge huge turkey and you yeah. could hardly get it into the oven yeah dad was left in charge of buying the turkey but never ever leave a British vegetarian man in charge of that <laughs> it was huge <laughs> it was so big and at that time his oven door was part hanging off so we didn't even know <laughs> if it was ever going to be cooked and when my nana arrives she says the look on our faces just <laughs> staring at this massive turkey not knowing what to do <laughs> she was straight in there picking it up oh yeah yeah, yeah. that will know what to do with anything you yeah know. although she hates cooking that's her catchphrase I hate cooking but she is marvelous yeah I think that's a very British thing as well mm. like if you're good at something you have to play it down oh you do we're not very good at self-promotion are we no I'm terrible at that yeah yeah, yeah. Even if you know for a while you're pretty good at I it. know. I don't know why. No. You don't want to look big headed. That's awful being arrogant and big headed. That's one of yeah, the... Yeah, but I think other countries do it. It doesn't feel that way. No, no. No, but it does if you're British. Yes. Yeah. You know, somebody's like that, you think... Oh, it's the worst. Oh. I know people like that. Yeah. Yeah. You don't go around their houses. No. No. Because the annoying the annoying thing is they're always very good at cooking too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the other thing. You go around a friend's house with the dinner party, and it's amazing. It's like Gordon Ramsay's just prepared it, <laughs> and then you feel you have to invite them back. You create all these uh, excuses why you can't do it that particular weekend. Yeah. Sorry, can't do it. My kitchen on fire. <laughs> yeah, which is probably true. Yeah, <laughs> that's the first excuse I thought of. Yeah, so that's the end of our awkward British problems. Thanks for watching and if you liked it please subscribe and do a little thumbs up. Um, if you've got any that you'd like us to shout out on the show we'd be really happy to do that. Yeah, or any problems or quirky things about your country. Yes. People from your country wherever you're from. Yes. Every country has their quirks. 
they do. I think we have more than yeah, most, but um, I'm sure you do. So yeah, that would be really interesting. That would be interesting. Let us know. International quirks on <laughs> awkwardness. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.